Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome back to today's video. Yes, I'm back with another one with my update on second hand September. I haven't had much of a response to it, and I'm thinking that's because I tagged it at the end of a um, Rock 2022 video on the 1st of September, and some people didn't see it. So it's about the 16th of September, and you still have two weeks to participate. So what is Secondhand September? Well, Secondhand September was inspired and was an initiative to shop and buy things secondhand to be kinder to people and the planet. Um, the idea being that the, for the 30 days of September, you buy something secondhand either every day or a couple of days in September. Now, for my make-along, and there are some participant prizes that will be drawn at random at the end. I'll go through the details in case you missed the video and now are reconsidering whether you should join. For second hand September my make long, it's very flexible. Taking something old and making it new again. Buy some old yarn from a charity shop, goodwill store or um, op shop and make something you can donate to charity. Now, if you're worried that um, old yarn can't be donated to charity, well, think again. All the blankets I donate to um, Far North Queensland Crochet for Cancer, even with new yarn, before they reach the patients in the hospital, they go through a very dramatic laundry test. And every clothing item you donate to a charity shop or op shop is washed before it goes out on the shelves. However, if you're worried about donating it to a human, then there are animal rescue charities who in the Northern Hemisphere will need your assistance with winter. You can make blankets for dogs or cats. You can make um, little dog coats for those tiny little dogs that feel the cold. Here in Australia, there is a gentleman who makes little coats for fairy penguins down south. It helps them not to gather oil on their fur from oil spills or oil slicks left by the shipping lines. There's also some ladies who knit little jumpers for lambs during lambing season to keep them warm and keep them alive. So there's lots of things you can make with yarn bought from a charity shop and repurpose it. Um, if you have a project you started some time ago and you know you don't like it and you're never going to finish it, frog it and make something new. It's pre-loved yarn and you're going to make something new that you will like and enjoy. Um, if you've been given some pre-loved yarn from a friend, then make something with it and make it a gift back to that friend or donate it to charity. Now, it doesn't have to be yarn, it can be anything. Sewing, whatever you want to do. I take old plant pots and redecorate them and reinvigorate them, paint them, put in a cutting or a plant and have them around my garden, which brightens up my home, or I have given them to friends who've come over and go, oh, I really like that. Well, you can have that as a gift. So anything like that, anything you can think of that is old, and be refreshed, made to look new, or repurposed into another item. Um, there is a lady at my community market who takes old teapots and cups and turns them into planters, and I find that interesting. Just be inspired. Let your imagination run away with you as to what you can do for secondhand September. Just remember, it's about making something old, new again, and not throwing it out into the rubbish or trash and ending up in landfill, because we have an awful lot of landfill. It can be any project, big or small. With two weeks to go, you might want to start a small project. If you have a big project you want to enter, all I ask is that 70% of it be complete before the closing date. So, how do you enter? Well, you must be over 18 years of age, of course. It's the normal YouTube policies and that apply to a giveaway because I will have some participant prizes at the end. 
it's open worldwide. It started on the 1st of September and it closes on the 30th September, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Australia. And on the 1st of September, uh, 1st of October, sometime during that day, 1st of October in Australia, I will do a prize draw. There will be three prizes. The first one out will be a $25 gift voucher and then I will do two pattern prize draws. They'll be worth $5 each. It's only a small make-along and it's about thinking about not being wasteful. So I hope you do join in, even though it's not a huge prize pool. Um, all I ask for you to enter is you take a picture before and a picture after. Now I've had one entry received by email and I'm going to put it at the end of this video from Karen. She was given some yarn from a friend who bought it at an op shop and she has made something with it. And you will see what I mean. All you have to do is take a picture before, a picture after and explain to me like if it's yarn, where you got it from, if it's an old plant pot you fall, fall, uh, found lying around in the shed, just take a picture and then when you finished it and freshened it up, take another one. So remember, it can be anything old, made new again. What you can do with your pictures is you can post them in the Facebook group page or Instagram with the hashtag SecondHandSeptemberAU. That's so I know it's to do with my make-along. So use the hashtag SecondHandSeptemberAU. Now, if you don't do social media, yes, you can email me your pictures. And if I can share them with the group, that'd be great. So give me permission to share them. But if you don't want them shared, that's fine. Um, and that's about it. So for me, I'll, you know, I've, if you've been following me, I've been away on holidays. And yes, I did visit some charity shops, op shops, goodwill stores in different places. And I did buy a few things because I was thinking of secondhand September. Now, one of the first places after Melbourne we went to was Bendigo. And besides visiting Bendigo Woodland Mill, there is Bendigo Pottery. And the surprise at Bendigo Pottery was out the back was this huge antique and collectibles hall full of different stalls that have numbers and it's manned by a couple at the front. And that's how you buy things. You'd say, I want to look at such and such in stalls, whatever number 44 and they come and they open the cases or they tell you if there's no price on it well at one of those stalls was some vintage yarn and i bought some vintage yarn now this is it it is white mohair there was four new balls and a bit you see that beautiful white vintage mohair and i'll tell you who it's by now this is Line Langamo, Style Your Soul, and it is 73% mohair, 22% ul, and 5% polonide. I don't know what the ul is, and it's very fine. And I'm trying to see where it was made. Made in the EU. Made in EU Italy for Dale Garn Designs. So there you have it. I bought this secondhand vintage yarn at a collectible store in Bendigo. Now that's one of the things I bought. I've been asked at my um, last two charity store, uh, community stores, but there's this one old lady who keeps asking me, do I do covered coat hangers? You know the old wooden coat hangers and you used to cover them? I've never done them, but she would like some. And the lady she used to get them from, is no longer with us and I was in a charity shop and I saw two pattern books at a steal of a price the first one is the big book for small projects too this one brand new condition two dollars everywhere I went every yarn store I went to after this they were on sale between 20 and 25 dollars new this is a bargain and in here, there are, of course, tea cozies. And I think, is it this one too? There's lots of different things I can make. 
and I quite like that this slipper socks and of course this covered coat hangers so that was the first one then I found another Peyton's big book for small projects a newer edition and yes in here is covered coat hangers and also I've been asked by an old gentleman do I do golf club to covers no but now I have a pattern for them so yeah these were two dollars each and both these books brand new sell for 20 to 25 dollars here and these are in mint condition so they were bought at an op shop I also bought some other yarn now for the life of me I can't remember where I got it I know it was an op shop on the Great Ocean Road and it, it is called um, Scandal by Panda it's like an eyelash yarn at the time I thought oh, I'll use it for some sort of yarn bombing project it was 50 cents a ball and I bought two and I actually today started a project using it I must admit it does shed a lot and it's difficult to work with I won't tell you what the project is because it's a whip and we'll see if it turns out because it's all up here I'm not following a pattern but there you go two balls of scandal by pattern for 50 cents each from a charity shop and today during my lunch hour I ducked out because wooden coat hangers that she wants covered just the actual wooden coat hanger they're not cheap they're quite expensive so by the time I craft something and put it over and cover them they're not going to be cheap for her and I don't think she has a lot of money so I went to a charity shop near my work and I bought three old wooden coat hangers now I'm going to take this outer layer off the hooks are almost brand new there's no rust or blemishes and I'm going to cover these for her and the next time she comes to my market stall and asks me I'm actually going to gift them to her because I have never done them before and I'm going to say it was a learning experience for me and I appreciate you letting me try them out on you so yeah they were two dollars for three they actually said a dollar fifty but I had a two dollar coin so I just gave them two dollars now these can sell anywhere up to eight nine ten dollars each but that is what I am doing currently for secondhand September I am repurposing some eyelash yarn covering coat hangers but I haven't quite decided what I'll do with my mohair guys get your thinking caps on remember it doesn't have to be a huge project you could take some old yarn make a beanie and donate it to charity because winter is coming in the north you can do pretty much anything all you have to do is convince me that you took something old and made it new again with your photos and if you want to put a brief description in your email that's great now the rules and conditions will be in the description below um, remember there's three participant prizes a $25 gift uh, voucher and two pattern purchase prizes they'll be PDFs from Ravelry or somewhere for five dollars each and now uh, for someone who's been buying a lot of patterns lately I think that's a pretty good gift for participating so there you have it secondhand September let's get thinking about reusing some of the stuff we have because last night I went to start a different project and you if you watched the last video you would have seen all the yarn I bought when I was away and if you knew what my yarn stock was like you would freak out because I could not find the green I needed and I refused to go out today and buy more yarn in that color green I've decided I'm not doing that because I have got way too much yarn anyway guys I hope you do participate in um, second hand September this is some of my stuff I bought when I was away on holiday and some of it got sent back home in one big box there will be some um, unboxing of yarn I bought from different yarn stores in future videos so I hope you stay tuned and enjoy the videos let me know in the comments below 
what you think you would make for secondhand September or what would you do for secondhand September. I know in the UK it's um, done by Oxfam. I'm not sure it's as big as it used to be, but at least we can make a little effort. Until next time, stay well, stay safe and be inspired by making something old new again. Bye for now.